Hello, my name is Stefan Baer. I'm from the Complete Traveler and I am today uh, showing you uh, how to mile our book. Um, we are specialized, by the way, in ANC Black, WPA guides, and Bedekers. And we have a lot of uh, books around. Uh, around the world and uh, we are taking when we mile our book uh, we mile our it mostly to protect it from uh, the elements like sunshine dust etc and a book like that that is mylar lasts much longer um, if the book has a dust jacket we use the broad art sleeves normally we do that in another we show you uh, these are these broad art sleeves that you can buy and they are called just the fold and you can you can buy them in bulk and stuff that's what we do and it's mostly used for books that have a dust jacket but if the a book doesn't have a dust jacket like this lovely uh, um, book about Bangkok and Siam and uh, then it needs a mylar and so we have the 20 inch wide mylar that comes in I believe 50 feet and uh, that's how we buy it and so we always cut it in the height so we, we uh, use this ruler and it has to be a tiny bit longer, a, a tiny bit higher than the actual book. You definitely don't want to cut the mylar um, too short. It has to be a tiny bit, maybe one millimeter above the actual height of the book. Then you cut it and you only have one time to cut. You can't really just do, uh, you have to kind of press relatively hard and you have to use a relatively sharp blade that your art supply store has for you. Then, so with the 20 inch, it gives you plenty of material here since the book is not so thick and not so big. And so we have to cut a tiny bit off to make these sleeves a little bit shorter. I will take maybe three or four inches off. It doesn't really matter that much. But normally I try to use as much as possible from the flaps. So I'm taking three, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm taking three inches off. So the flaps are getting a little bit smaller. And we are doing six folds with our, with our mylar. So we line it up like this, and then we hold on to the outer um, front hinge, and then we kind of pinch it together. We line it up, and we make a fold. And you can use one of those um, <coughs> folds that you can buy also at your art supply store, but if you have perfectly nice fingernails you can also do that with the fingernails then you um, you hold it like this in place and you turn it around and you do the same way at the rear uh, outer hinge you give it a pinch you line it up here in between so it's all lined up and then you Fold it again. Then you hold it like this and and then you you do the third fold like this and you do it as tight as possible because you see what happens later we will make a second fold almost at the same place. You do this one then you also do the back as well. So this is where most booksellers stop. But then a lot of times when you see this, um, the actual book is kind of coming up a little bit and it's not really looking that nice like this yet. And it looks actually even nicer if you do another fold, which is we are making kind of a U-shape things. So we, we 
uh, go to this fold and then we are um, going out for about maybe two uh, two millimeters and you do another fold that is very very close to the first fold and then uh, and then you correct it a little bit and you make a U shape out of it so when you actually do it like this then um, it doesn't really stand up anymore and it's much nicer it it's a little bit more work but it's probably worth it we also do it with the other one now another two millimeters out and another fold and then also make a U, a U fold and that's it in terms of now we are finished with our with our mylar thanks for watching and next time we will show you how to mylar a book with a broad art fold uh, just a fold sleeve and see you again soon